Get ready to witness amazing construction and demolition techniques. From vertical forests to extending ships, see how innovation is changing the game. Don't miss out and make sure to subscribe for more exciting content. Vertical Forest New high-rise buildings constantly appear in modern large cities. Every year these structures of concrete, seal, and glass alienate us more and more from nature. But there are other ways to develop the city's infrastructure. Vertical Forest is an amazing project that shows just how easy it is to find. The balance between modern life and nature is a residential complex with two towers. The first one is 111 meters high and the second is 76 meters high. The construction started in 2009 and finished in 2014. You can see the amazing project in Milan in the Portalover district. The construction is quite unique. Each floor is surrounded by a large number of terraces with numerous green areas. In total, the vertical forest accommodates 900 trees, 5,000 shrubs, and 11,000 perennial plants. There are many advantages compared to traditional skyscrapers. First, such a number of plants creates a special favorable microclimate. They filter the dirty city air, increase humidity, and help absorb carbon dioxide and generate oxygen. People are less affected by noise, solar radiation, better protected from heat, cold, and winds, and secondly, a group of such buildings could create a whole new city ecosystem with birds and insects. Indoor Construction Building low-rise residential buildings is considered an easy and pretty quick construction process. However, even here, workers constantly face difficulties, precipitation, strong winds, cold, wet, and hot weather. Not only do they cause discomfort to the construction workers, but they also become real obstacles that delay the work. There is, however, a solution to this problem and some companies are already making active use of it, like the American company Clayton Homes based in Tennessee. Instead of erecting houses on site, they resort to another method. The house, from the foundation to the roof and the interior, is all assembled indoors. Once finished, the building only needs to be taken to the site and installed. The construction process, the materials, and the people are equally well protected from adverse factors. Thanks to this, the company is able to achieve amazing performance. But that's not all, the number of expenses is significantly reduced. Clayton Holmes says that there are only two small buckets of construction waste to be disposed of after each house is finished. Ship Extension Since we're talking about giant ships, we can't help but mention amazing projects that turn large ships into really huge ones. Let's see how this works. New cargo ships are getting bigger every year and there is an easy explanation. The more containers you can fit on board, the higher the profit will be. But how can companies with old and relatively small vessels compete with the modern ships? Here's the solution. It turned out that it's much cheaper to increase the length of an old ship than building a new large cargo ship from scratch. You are seeing this extension procedure on your screens right now. The idea is quite simple, the hole is cut into two parts and then an extra section is placed between them. After that, the workers have to dock, weld, and carefully insulate the seams. In fact, the ship's extension is a very challenging task that takes two to three months of work for a whole team of specialists. The result, however, is worth it. Because building a ship from scratch takes more than a year and costs about five times more. Transportation of blades. Wind generators are large buildings consisting of a high tower and they rode it with a small number of blades. It turns wind energy into rotational energy and then electrical energy. When these projects are developed, it goes without saying that people want to make the most of these kind of buildings. Achieving the planned productivity is partly possible thanks to its magnitude. The tower can be up to 200 meters and the span of the blades often exceeds 100 meters. And here's one of the main difficulties faced by wind turbine builders. To install the huge blades on the rotor, you must first transport them to the construction site. And turbines are usually built on hills away from cities. The process of transportation takes a lot of time and requires great attention from workers and the use of large specialized equipment. 
The video shows the transportation of 52.4 meter long blades that weigh 80 tons each. The most important vehicles for the task are 10 ton trucks for the length of almost 7 meters. They are the ones that carried the blades for 5.5 kilometers uphill. Poly level. Raising sunken concrete slabs is a complex and time consuming procedure. Or it was because now you can use an advanced material known as poly level. It saves not only time and effort but also money because of course removing the coating and then laying new slabs is a lot more expensive. Polylevel is a foaming polymer that reaches its maximum strength in 15 minutes. The material is waterproof and eco-friendly. It doesn't contaminate the soil and at the same time does not exert additional pressure on it. The chemical reaction causing the material to foam is controlled too. This makes it easy for the workers to adjust the height. Excavation at Great Heights The easiest, fastest, and most economical way to get rid of an old building is using explosives. However, when a building is in a place that's not suitable for explosions, you have to be a bit creative. We're going to show you the demolition of the 162-meter Tor cooling tower at the Milheim Kalak nuclear power plant. After extensive consideration, experts have come to the conclusion that the only possible way to demolish the building is by using mechanical means, therefore a heavy full-size excavator which placed on top of it. It was just too dangerous for a person to be inside the cabin though, so the operator had to control the machine remotely. Dismantling Oil Platforms Brent Bravo is a striking metal giant that weighs more than 25,000 tons. In 1976, this stationary platform was the first oil production facility in the Brent field. The complex system was located for over 40 years in the North Sea, 186 kilometers away from the Shettle and Islands. Until finally, in 2019, it was time for a well-deserved rest. All Seas Engineering, a Dutch company, was responsible for the dismantling procedure. The pioneering spirit, the world's largest cargo ship, was used to carry out the demolition. The vessel is 382 meters long and 124 meters wide, and it's sewn of a very limited number of vehicles that can withstand the Brent Bravo's weight load. The operation itself was not complicated, it was necessary to isolate the tanks and then simply lift the platform and place it on the cargo ship. The only problem was that the structure was not designed for this, so it was necessary to consider every single detail. Amazingly, in the end, the whole structure was lifted into the air. The whole process of lifting and placing took only 9 seconds, but it's difficult to even imagine how many complex calculations, planning, and work preceded them. Brent Bravo set off on a 700-kilometer sea journey for recycling and disposal.